Jackson Haitley epitomizes the modern day athlete. He credits meditation, yoga and Pilates to helping him become a better player. So what does it all involve? Let's find out here at Humankind Yoga Studio. Talk me through a few things that you do to prepare for a football game away from the training track. Yeah, I love um, meditation is one of those things that I like to do um, each day if I can. Um, and, you know, that really helps the mind. Um, I find it relaxes me a lot. And then, you know, some other things, Pilates. Um, we've got a great Pilates instructor down at Glenelg, um, Clancy. So a few of us boys get down and um, do some sessions with her, which are really good. Um, and my mum's actually a yoga teacher as well. So convenient. Very convenient. I, um, I go out to, to Gawler and do some sessions with her when I can, which is uh, really helpful too. How do you make the things outside the training track a priority? Yeah, it's hard. I think early when I started it was all, and even before I got drafted, it was all sort of footy, footy, footy. And I think you find speaking to some of the older guys that balance is, is super important. So that's something that I've had to learn as I've sort of come in. And for me, I really feel how, how it helps. You know, I'll do, I'll meditate and I'll do, do yoga and I'll really, you know, feel that and I'll feel more relaxed and I'll find my body's in a better space. And what does game day look like for you? Do mm. you bring, bring in any of those learnings from yoga, Pilates? Yeah, I'll meditate on game day. That'll be part of my game day routine about probably four or five hours before the game. I'll, I'll meditate and have a little bit of a nap and then I'll find that puts me in a good sort of relaxed frame of mind and then I'll sort of build into the game from there. Game day is pretty full on, it can get hectic. How does meditation help you focus on your role? I think it just gives me a greater sense of clarity. And so it's not one of those things where you can do it once and then all of a sudden you're, you're really clear. You know, I might have two or three things that I want to focus on on game day. And you know, when I'm meditating, you know, I might go over those in my head a little bit. So I'll feel, you know, calmer when I'm out in the field and, um, and more composed. And I think that definitely helps. They might still though, Haitley bending it back and the Crows finally in this third quarter. So you're back in the side and you had one of your best games to date against Brisbane. Yeah. How do you think you've been performing? Yeah, I've been feeling, I've been feeling good these last few weeks and um, I felt like I've been building in some good form and um, you know, similar to the team, I think we've played quite well these last couple of weeks in particular um, and so yeah, really looking to, to play, you know, four quarters and, and get a win. Personally, I'm, I'm really enjoying playing in, the, in that midfield role and, um, you know, feeling like I'm, I'm helping the team. So just looking to continue to get better and, um, and keep going from there. Well, thanks for your time today. And I'm sure you've given all of those hopefuls out there an insight into everything that goes into becoming an elite athlete. It's not just what you do on the field, it's everything that goes in behind the scenes. Absolutely, no, thanks for having a chat, Belle. Really appreciate it.